Yeah, so. You, you gotta ride the wave with Hero, right? Yeah, and they're the definitely riding, riding the wave today. On the opposite end, though, Earl, probably the least streaky player in Chicago, where it's just all about those fundamentals. It's about, I'm playing Lucina, it's like, you know, a bread and butter character. I'm gonna take advantage, and I'm just never gonna relinquish it through the entire game. So, maybe we'll need some of those shenanigans to find a way to break through these uh, these walls that are all set up, especially here on the ledge opening game one. And that's gonna be, Lucina is a fantastic pick for basically Medan's Kryptonite, because they really do struggle with those characters that just continuously put them in the corner and just swat them off over and over and over. So, yeah. it's, it's exactly like that style we were talking about that, uh, that Yumu incorporated in the last game, right? Where you're not typically used to seeing that with Mario, where Mario just takes like those one or two hits and then just resets the advantage state. That's all that uh, Lucina's game plan is, for the most part. Absolutely. Unless you can like get like set up a really good edge guard situation, which you can definitely get those in this matchup, but you're always on the risk of you know a zoom popping out. Mm -hmm. But so far, a lot of brawling back and forth, but we do have an edge guard situation. No zoom. Gets back to the ledge though. Back to center stage. We're all giving Mita no room to breathe and get these spells stacked up. Look at that, even taking the trade with the forward air just to get that stock ASAP. Oh, scary spot here. That is psych up, right, on the, on the deck? Correct. Right. So one one use out of the psych up gets the up tilt, but not the stock. Need a couple more percent. But still getting healthy on the second stock is Mita. We're all trying to work his way in. And being like really ambiguous with that cross up on the down air, we just bought a ton of space here for Earl on the stage. But reading the jump off the ledge, that will be me taking stock number one. That's typically the way you. Oh, thirty-eight percent. And it's even. Was that dare? Um, I don't know. But either way, Eden working really right back into it once again. Finally getting some spell usage. Earl just doing a really good job of suffocating throughout this. Ops for the accelerado over the zoom. Well, you can see how valuable it is once you get onto the stage, but swatted out of the skies, Earl hunting down this hero with up air. That's that's the blessing and the curse of Accelerado, knowing that when when you do have it, your opponent's gonna be looking for a jump, and more often than not, the hero will do it. Being a magic burst, get, get up attack <laughs> hit. <laughs> what the? Game. Oh oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> He's had the same reaction of, uh oh. In, in Mean's defense there, once that magic burst totally whiffed, what were you going to do on that stock? It, yeah. it was really tough to make a comeback happen from that position. Especially just how efficient Earl is with his ledge trapping and corner pressure. Yeah, good luck. After, after that magic burst was, I probably would have intentionally missed the tech. Although, to be quite honest, I miss every tech now all the time. During quarantine, you know, I, just, I just forgot how to tech. I can't tech anymore. Oh, I mean, most people One, set their R button go. to do it. You can also yeah. hold down to decrease the speed that you collide with the stage, which makes teching easier. That's, that's a real thing. DI? No, you just, yeah, you just DI down. So that way, it, because you decrease your acceleration rate. Oh. So it makes it easier to tech. I just need to go into, like, the cave on that uh, temple stage yep. with Ganondorf and just practice tech. Yeah, well. they kind of ruined that stage with the teching in this game. But uh, that's what we're playing right now. We're actually playing on Yoshi's Story, which is also a melee stage. Great transition. Also a really annoying stage to tech on, so also that's true. my segue right back into this game. Parry's left and right for Earl. I don't think I've ever seen Mita counter pick this stage. Interesting pick, probably wants the platforms just to mix up disadvantage state so Earl can ledge trap as efficiently. Uh, are you dead? Oh wow, that was a nifty recovery by Earl. He had stalled with the side down low. Just really knowing your character and how far they can go, but you can go right over into the blast zone. With that fully charged neutral beep, responds with a forward smash in time. The scene is the type of character where you can taunt cancel into an F smash and it will get you a stock, but Earl didn't need the taunt there. He just gets it done. But once again, these platforms so far aren't doing me to many favors, but does get to the ledge. Quick jabs create a little bit of a ledge trap for Eaton's corner, but instead Tangle's gonna break right out. 
Yep, so that was a really smart ledge skip. Just remembering that the up B on Hero has no end lag whatsoever. Can use X Tell Rattle, see if they can get an edge guard. You wait out the flag, makes a lot of sense. Ooh. Not great coverage on the platform with the F Smash, but still you have to respect its legality. This game is dead even. That's how it becomes undead even. But go get the zoom. The, the neutral resetter. Whoa! Reaching across the platforms from left to right. I Need think I understand why Smeaton wanted this stage. <laughs> <laughs> what the? But okay, what? back air will get the job done for Earl, and now it is even stock. Which is still really scary. It's like that, uh. A any character who has a comeback factor on even stock is a bad spot to be. And he gets the, the ending hit on the fully charged side beat. That's about 35%. And just like that, Meaden is up a healthy amount on this last stock, looking to take us to a game three in winner's quarters. Ooh. Scary F smash, but not gonna be quite enough to break the shield without any aid from like a psych up or something similar. That's one of those that you kind of just had to put out there to put fear into your opponent's heart when you're up that much. Yeah. For just to sure. make them ready for everything. But we do have an oom. That'll be on deck for 20 to 30%, no matter what move is used. Forward to almost killing across the stage. Salrado. Forward will do it. Going into game three, Meaden takes it. If I'm Earl, I'm looking for a big old stage. <laughs> Keep that side be away from me. Well, Earl's typically, you know, a battlefield counter picker, which might make sense here just because the. Uh, you, obviously, there's still the, those platform shenanigans that can be had, but Lucina has platform shenanigans too. But also bigger blast zones. Yeah. So that, that side B was definitely not going to be killing on Battlefield. And the other thing about those platforms on Yoshi's compared to the battlefield, like small Battlefield where we ended up is the platforms on Yoshi's are higher off the uh, the base platform. So you're closer to, the, even though the, top, the ceiling is higher, you're closer to it. Which of course leads you know, the Mario shenanigans and things of that sort, ladder well, stuff. We, we, were, we were almost right, going to small Battlefield Taking that top platform out of the game, and Earl just looking to hold that corner pressure with no relief of that top platform. We only saw it once in game two where Maiden used the up B just to sneak into that top platform, which is a trick that Lucina can do as well, where it's almost lifeless. Yeah, look at, look at the efficiency in, in this corner pressure from Earl so far to start this game. Finally, Maiden gets to play the game after almost over 30 seconds of gameplay. But if you let Hero play the game one time, that could be enough. Also true. Get one lucky roll of the menu, start stacking those spells, but we're looking for the usual down, throw, down smash, but just barely surviving is Meaden. Ooh, scary spot with the up B. No confirm off the top end, though, from Meaden. Does not get the zoom, and down they go. That was almost like a semi-spike angle. It was a back air, I believe, from Earl I that believe took so. the stock. But as soon as the uh, as soon as you were committed to the menu, a zoomer dead, right? I'm starting to see Meaden working those up Bs to proactively beat out the stall from Earl because they, he has been kind of changing up the timings on those aerials that he's lining on shield with. But Meaden just can't find an opening. Fantastic advantage state from Earl going for juggle after juggle up there. And even the back hit of that neutral there, it looked like the Nair was a whiff for Earl, which would have bought a precious stage control. But even then, it just added up to too much damage. But although, you do get the stock here. The classic neutral B into forward air with Accelerado will always combo. Gets the kill, but he needs to get out of this corner and needs to hold that center stage. But Earl has, has an opportunity in the corner. Gets the Nair, and it does kill. Comfortable position for Earl to try to make his way into the winner's semifinals, but you gotta hold this comfortable position. You can't fall for any of the shenanigans like a snooze. Easy ways to lose a stock. Okay, the Psych Up disappears on a forward air, which you take like 20% for it, but considering the alternative, it's not too bad. Yeah, it really just comes down to, he doesn't do a good job of just 
slowly inching their way back in this game, even without the help of menu. But we've seen what happens when a girl gets in the corner. They have a really tough time getting out. But does so there. Yeah. Able to scout out that up the retreat to the platform here is Earl in a great spot and finds a spike! Gets the spike to end the set with enthusiasm. Earl winning against that 2 to 1. Fantastic stuff on them, particularly the final two stocks of that. Just comfortable, fun. Like we mentioned before, fundamental gameplay. Yeah. Taking the strengths of your character to use to snuff out the weaknesses of a disadvantaged state and hero. Absolutely. It's just crazy how different and suffocating a stage feels when you just take off 